Welcome to our presentation of building meaningful SaaS metrics with NetSuite Analytics Warehouse. My name is Stephen Wolf. I'm a managing partner and solution architect at Myers Holem. And today I'm going to give a brief five minute overview of our SaaS metrics bundle for NetSuite Analytics Warehouse. And so I'll give a quick overview of NetSuite Analytics Warehouse, how NSAW or NetSuite Analytics Warehouse compares to other third party technologies on the market what key SaaS metrics we've built into our bundle, and then I'll give a quick overview of uh, SaaS metrics within NSAW. So very quickly, NSAW is a pre-built BI platform that comprises both a data warehouse and a front-end analytics platform. Uh, it's built entirely uh, within Oracle and it's pre-integrated with NetSuite. So it comes to the box day one. In addition to our SaaS metrics bundle, which for our customers of Myers Holm Consulting Engagements um, comes pre-configured with most of the SaaS metrics uh, that our clients are asking for and want to report on for their SaaS businesses. So why is NSAW different than other third-party technologies? Well, NSAW is both a back-end EDW or data warehouse as well as a front-end technology built together. So rather than needing to stitch together or comprise a full BI architecture with a data warehouse and a BI solution, NSAW is packaged together in one unified system. We focused on these key areas for SaaS metrics, and we really decided to do this so that we can encompass uh, SaaS companies and the reporting that they need uh, across various stages. So for earlier stage companies, we have metrics that are focused on growth and retention. For later stage companies, might be more interested in sales efficiency, marginal margins or capital efficiency, as well as engagement metrics, which I'll talk about briefly. And just within the overall product, um, we have uh, some detailed overview of all of the metrics we provide. You can pause here and take a screenshot of this slide because I'll go through it pretty quickly today, just our five minute demonstration. So let's go ahead and just jump into a demo here and I can give you an overview of some of our key SaaS metrics and what it looks like in the platform. So now I've logged into my NetSuite instance and I'm gonna go ahead and just click this NSAW link to open up our NSAW instance. In my homepage in NSAW here, I can see a quick overview of all of the demo instances and workbooks and sheets that I've put together, but I'm gonna go ahead and just click into our SaaS metrics demonstration to give you an overview. When I open up the SaaS metrics instance for the first time, I can see that I have some key KPIs relevant to SaaS companies in the front. And down here on the bottom, I can also see just a quick overview of my MRR or monthly recurring revenue. So just to get you a sense of what this looks like, in addition to these key SaaS metrics in my homepage, I have a sales summary, which outlines my total sales by month, subscription revenue by cohort, sales cohort by uh, quarter, Cohort is defined as all of our customers that started within the same month or time frame, and is a useful way for SaaS companies to track and group their customers together for various other SaaS metrics and reports. I have ARR, my moving average recurring revenue with six months here on the line level. And just to demonstrate in this quick overview of SaaS metrics as well, I'm going to show an, an annual contract value deck, which outlines my annual contract value by month with a trend line as well overlaid on top of it and the detailed annual contract value by my revenue or recurring components. So in this case, I've got my retained ACV, new ACV in green, insurance ACV in red. One of the most powerful aspects of NSAW is that it's drillable all the way down to the detailed transactions in NetSuite. So whether you're using NetSuite Suite Billing or Zone Advanced Billing within NetSuite, or even if you're using any other third-party billing system, with NSAW and all of our implementations, we always provide full drill down capability. So in this case, if I'm going through and looking at my ACV components, and I wanna drill down into this large churn month where we had a churn of 622,000, I can always drill down into my customer sales details find that one uh, relatively larger churn customer, that's a $92,500 annual contract value customer, and I'm always able to open up the NetSuite subscription record or whatever underlying subscription record is churning uh, showing up on that graph back into my source data, whether that's in NetSuite or any other third-party application. So if I go back to my SaaS metrics screen, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue looking through some key elements and charts that I like Customer lifetime value is defined as the contribution of a customer cohort, um, net their initial customer acquisition cost. And you can see that LTV for cohorts 
uh, that are expanding in their footprint with us is growing. Cohorts that are flattening off basically mean that we have uh, 100% churn. Any uh, increasing trend line means that we're continuing to renew those customers. An aggressively growing trend line can mean, again, that their footprint is expanding. And as I click through the metrics here, you can see that we have a lot of detail and summarized data visualizations in cohort dollar retention, gross margin, my just subscription count by cohort, and another customer concentration that I like to see showing that in this demo instance, I've got a large amount of customers concentrated in just one of the top segments of my customer size. So a lot of my revenue is coming from that top segment in terms of customer size. So a key takeaway just for this five minute overview today is that within NSAW, you're getting a fully baked end-to-end -end BI solution that's both pre-integrated to NetSuite offering drill down capability, but also offering drill down capability to any other third party applications or billing systems. And with Myers Holem and implementation, you're getting access to a large set of pre-built SaaS metrics that we seek to deliver on day one of our implementation for our com uh, customers in the SaaS industry. If you have any other questions, just feel free to reach out to your point of contact at Myers Holem or get in touch with us online to schedule a deeper demo of SaaS metrics for NetSuite.